the computer. Okay. In a moment, just a little bit of technical stuff. Chat, got no sound. Give me a moment. All right then. Yeah, okay. It is all this new technology is fantastic. But when you first go into Zoom, it asks you to use computer audio. Uh, I can't remember what it does on the phone. But if you don't say yes, it turns it off uh, and then the sound doesn't work. Or uh, I've noticed uh, little tiny glitches where people haven't turned the speakers up. Or uh, all I know is I can I keep, keep checking mine so I can see the meter on the microphone going up and down. So I know it's working. Okay. Right. And so we're up to uh, 40 people. Let's get rid of that. All right then, we started, uh, yeah, recording, cool, great. So each week when I do these sessions, uh, I record them and then I put the sessions up onto YouTube afterwards. Uh, so if you, you know, you can watch them now or you can watch them again later. Ideally, if, you know, even if you just did the Qigong part of it for about half an hour every day, it gets you fit and active, gets your circulation going. Uh, so our YouTube channel, you, you would have to search uh, Kaiming Tai Chi YouTube and then you'll find it. Or drop me a message, drop me an email afterwards and I'll send you a link. On your YouTube channel, each week I'm putting those up, plus there's some of the ones from the past that are in their garden uh, and some other stuff as well. So you can, you can join into any of the videos that are on there. Uh, the aim, as I say each week, is to start to uh, build on what we're doing uh, and we're going to work on a um, Shibeshi set two today, so it's like a bit more strenuous. Make sure you've got a drink, make sure you've got space to move around. Uh, and if you need a chair or you'd like a chair, you know, just have one at hand so you can sit down whenever you want to. The thing with Tai Chi and Qigong is it's just about uh, natural movement. Uh, and yes, it will get your heart rate up and yes, it will make your muscles work, but it shouldn't strain anything. So please make sure you do uh, take any time and your rest whenever you need to and drink. But as I've just said that, I realise I actually haven't got a drink myself. So just be a moment. Here we go. Can I make sure you got the water? All right then. Um, Just check everyone's okay. Everyone okay? All good? Yeah, all good? All good? You got somebody with you today, Bogdan? Hi, both. <laughs> Everyone okay? I'm just checking in before we get started. All right, I'll go to the other group. Okay, because I couldn't see you. I was looking at the first screen, so you all okay? Thumbs up, that just helps. Thanks, Janet. Excellent. Fabulous, love it. Great. Okay. Right, here we go. I'm still preferring this background, still preferring this forest background. All right. So some music. I need you to compose some music to the class box and so we can use your stuff. Thank you. 
Just don't need to keep shoulder width. Just bounce nice and loose. And remember to wear my paint in a rainbow shirt today. Nice and loose. Arms out, shoulders relaxed, turn. Breathing in and out, changing weight and turning. Some of you are joining in from um, the park classes, the Tai Chi in the park classes. What I'd love to do is change the backdrop to the park you normally attend so it seems quite familiar to you. If you've got a good photograph of the park, just email it to me and I'll use it as a backdrop next session. Swinging forwards, like you're bowling a ball, I'll stand sideways. So you're swinging forwards. Are you bowling? Out. And pulling backwards. Shoulders relaxed, knees bent, body upright. Turning your waist to pull towards you. Always turning at the hips. Side to side. Breathe in and out. Standing on one leg, so bring your knees sit into your hips, lift the one knee up, rotate your ankle round and round and round, up and down, swing. And from your knee, just circle your foot round and round, other way around. As the leg, sit down, lift from the hips, ankle round and round. Up and down. Swing. Circle round and round. Knees and feet together, hands on your hips. Round and round. Shake. Circle round. So we do this about six times. Releasing your shoulders, your shoulder blades, and your chest. Hands together, bend your knees, push, bend, swing through. So I'm turning sideways. So my knees are bent, my back straight, swinging through. Side to side. 
You're rotating. Rolling your shoulders. This mobilizes your hips and your shoulders. Forwards. Knees forwards, chin on your chest, curl up. Circle. This is um, one of uh, Hong Xing Shen's five loosening exercises. And it's designed to mobilize your spine, mobilize your shoulder blades, loosen your back, loosen your hips, push, bend your knees, swing through. So it mobilizes your spine like a snake in that direction, forwards. And then side to side, it rotates. Rolling your knees, rolling backwards. Or forwards. Knees forwards, curl up. Give your body a shake. When you try to straight. Okay. We're here, shoulder width. We're going to do um, Tai Chi Qi Gong Shibasu set two. So some of you have done it, some of you haven't. But just take your time. The preparation is you breathe in and out like a fountain of water. Breathing in up your center and out. As you see, it was out and down. Uh, it was snowing here last night. We, we expected a, a lovely white garden this morning. We could have done Tai Chi in the snow. I was all set and ready, but no, nah, all cleared. Breathing in and out. Out. Breathing in and out. As you're doing this, the elbows come forward, the shoulder blades open. Uh, elbows go back, shoulder blades back and out. So you can see I'm mobilizing in and out. In and out. We live in this wonderful three dimensional body, so we should mobilize in more directions. Release the energy late flow through your body, taking away the tensions. Once more. Hands together, circling the chi. So breathing in, imagine the energy rising up your back, over your head and down the front. This movement is up your back, over your head, down. It's circling right here. It's called a moderate cosmic orbit. Breathing in and out. So these sets of exercises were developed by Professor Lin Hu Sheng. There's lots and lots of people who say they teach Shibashi, but there's only a very small number certified so by Professor Lin Hu Sheng in the authentic Shibashi. Um, I originally trained with them back in around 1990 in Malaysia in the early days. More recently, it was recertified by him to be a teacher in the UK. Breathing in, out, circling the chi.
Step forwards, one leg, wind that rocks the willows, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. So you can see here, breathing in, coming forwards, breathing out and turning. Just turn as far as he's comfortable and out. Breathing in onto the front leg. Make sure your knee and hip will line up and foot line up. And out. Just turn your waist as far as you're comfortable. Not twisting your knee. Nice and gentle. Breathing in. Breathe out, step back, change legs. Breathing in and open. And out. You got your microphone on, turn it off. Breathing in as you come forwards. Checking everyone's okay. Keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed. Keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed. Lifting the hands, dropping the shoulders. It's in the hands. And the shoulders nice and relaxed. There we go. Step back. You have to make like two guns now. This is called knee let's see bottom. So step forwards and dive down. So I'll turn sideways so you can see. Driving down to my knee and coming up, but my weight's in my back leg. Driving down to my knee and coming up, but my weight stays in my back leg. Just keep your toe on the floor for balance, but no weight, so don't transfer weight. Keep your weight in the back leg. Breathing in and out. Down to your knee and out. <laughs> down. Breathing in. If you want to change yourself, just lift your toe off the floor. So maybe if you're young and you're fit and you practice parkour and things like that, it should be quite easy for you. So I'll trust you doing it. Breathing in. Sitting down to your back leg and out. Breathing in, change legs and out. And out. Breathing in as you come up, and now as you sink down, dive through the needle at C bottom, down. This movement's taken from Yang style Tai Chi. It looks slightly different, but the energy is the same movement. Diving down. Step back, step one and a half shoulder widths and sit down. The fisherman casts his net out to sea. Breathing in and out. So imagine you've got a big net in your hands and you're casting it all the way out to sea. Breathing in and out. You can keep your weight 50 50 and just move from your hips. Or if you prefer, you can change weight more like cloud hands. Turn, breathing in and out. The more you sit, the more you work. Feel your heart rate, and your body warming. Breathing in 
If any of you practice Chen style Tai Chi, this might remind you of Chin Su Jing, Silk Reading Energy. So, breathing in and out. When I first learned this set, I learned this one initially in 1992. Um, all the notes were given to me in Chinese. I had to practice Chinese back then. So I spent a lot of time translating them into English. And the next movement we're going to do will be called uh, Literary Translators Fairly Shows Away. But more recently, Translated it again, I spoke to a friend and a nice, well, I still like Prairie Pints Away, but another translation would be uh, Immortal Pints Away. It still sounds good. So breathing in, as you step up, making the gun, stepping across, points. Breathing in and out. When somebody asks you for directions, you can breathe in and say it's uh, down that way. You breathe in, as you breathe out, you step across, knee behind your knee or into your calf. In and out. If you're feeling stronger, you can go all the way down to your knee to your ankle. Breathe in and out. Feel your balance is really, really good. All the way down, lift your toes to the floor. Mine is not good today. <laughs> lift your toes to the floor, breathe in. And out. In. Otherwise, just step across gently. Breathe in. And out. Remember, all the weight stays in the one leg. When your toe touches the floor, it's just for balance. In. You can do the sitting down if you want to. In. And out. One more to its side. Hands to your hips. Breathing in. Push it out with your heel. In and out. So this one is called the young boy stretches his leg. Push it out with the heel. Breathing in and out. Breathing in. As you breathe out, keep your knees still and just stretch with your heel. Now if when you're doing this, it feels a bit difficult today. That's okay. You can breathe in, breathe out, put your heel down. Breathe in, put your foot down. Do that again. You can breathe in, breathe out, put your heel down. Breathe in, put your foot down. But otherwise, breathe in, stretch it out with your heel. Breathe in, foot down. Out, in, out. Mortal salutes. Or the fairy crane, which is a more literal translation, salutes. Breathing 
in. Step across and out. So the hands and the foot are on the same side. Breathing in. Hands and the foot on the same side and out. In. And out. Once more inside, breathing in and out. And the last one. Hands to your hips, bend your knees. This one's called the Yellow Dragon Explorers of Palm. So you imagine like, holding a pound coin in the palm of your hand, breathing in and out. In and out. So you sit as low as is comfortable. Even if you just bend your knees, that's fine. Breathing in and out. So imagine you're like picking up and out. And slow gun point in the palm of your hand. Breathing in and out. The yellow dragon should feel like it's swimming around the palm of your hands. In, in, as if you're lifting and scooping and out as you open and stretch the palm. So just doing this with the palm helps activate this point. In, in, and out. Because I'm sitting down, I'm getting quite warm. In the air, so I hope everyone's okay. Once more, breathing in, shoulders relaxed, and out. Breathing in and out as you draw the bow, shoot the bird, breathing in up the center and out. So what you're doing is you're looking through the tiger's mouth, in and out, in and out, in and out. up the centre and out. You continue in and out. Let's check everyone's okay. Let's get a bit warm. That's right, just checking you're all okay. Looking good, shoulders relaxed. Then we're pulling the back hand towards your ear. So the back hand towards your back ear, front hand like stretching out, looking through the tiger's mouth. There you go. And last one. Step in, you got to make your dragons. Make your dragons. This is two dragons from out to sea. Breathing in and out. And in. Change legs and out. So when you breathe in, when you lean back, you just align your body. 
As you breathe out, as if your back leg's straight and your body is straight. Breathing in. So you're not bending your back or your neck and out. And out. Breathing in. If you want to, you can roar. If you're a dragon, you can roar. Out. Rest whenever you need to, it's good to sit down, that's absolutely fine. Just do what you need to, up and down. Shoulders relaxed. Breathe in, as you come up, out. And once more, breathe in. And out. And step back. And push the waves, breathing in and turn, push up. In, turn your foot, turn your foot and push. In, push. In, in. and out. In. And push. Nice and gentle, shoulders relaxed, and out. Once more inside, breathing in, and out. In, and out. And next one is called Lion Plays His Ball. This is the one that everyone gets entertained by trying to do. The feet together holding a ball. What you're going to do is, if you've done Tai Chi, this is like doing a four corners. So you turn and push. Breathing in, holding a ball. Turn the ball and push both hands. I have a ball all prepared here. <laughs> you breathe in, hold the ball. Turn and push. Breathe in, hold the ball. Turn and push. Breathe in, hold the ball. Breathe out, push. Breathe in, hope you like my chi ball. Out and push. Breathe in, hold the ball. And out. And push. Both hands push. Breathe in, hold the ball. Out and push. In, hold the ball. And push. Once more at side, in, hold the ball. Out and push. In, hold the ball. Out and push. Let's put my ball down. Back to the center. And from here, it's embrace the moon in the cup. You turn like you're reaching up, holding the moon in the sky, bringing it down, sitting into horse stance in the cup. 
Breathing in and out. In and out. In. With your bright moon and out of the cup. more at side, breathing in and out, last one, and out, and Felix unfurls its wings in and out, breathing in and Shoulders nice and relaxed. Imagine the phoenix flying up and down. Up. That's right. That's excellent. Breathing in nice and steady. Out, relax your shoulders. And once more. Hands to your hips. This is two peaks pierce ears. So breathing in, forward, and in. Like you're doing this temples. Pop. Breathing in. Breathing in, hands to your hips. And out. In, hands to your hips. And out. In. And out. the ears, breathe in, and Last one, and step back and run the chi in the dantian, breathing in. See, dantian is below your belly button inside, roughly where you might imagine your bladder is. Breathing in and out. The dantian is where you store your chi. So if you imagine it like a big cauldron of chi, and if you're breathing in and out, you're stirring it like a pot of chi soup. <laughs> Breathe in and out, in and out. As the way around, in, got to get all the lumps out. Around. In and out. Out in the centre, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Just 
Breathing in. And all that lovely energy in. And let it flow through your body down to your dentin. on Facebook, I hope you've been sharing and liking, and letting people know. Because the more you share, the more you like, the more of us can join in and enjoy the benefit from the Tai Chi Chi Gong that we're doing. And the work of uh, Professor Lin Hu Sheng, who shared this with us. Breathing in. And okay. Keep your arms up. And cup your hands and pat your legs. Shake. Okay. Let's check out what's going on. Is everybody doing okay? Everyone doing okay? Yeah, all good. Like you have a great t-shirt, Bob. All good. Excellent. Okay, if, I, if anybody needs to go, that, that's fine, I understand. But thanks for taking part. Otherwise, we're gonna carry on and do the form now. So I'm just checking on everybody. Don't worry. You're not finished yet, so don't get sneaking off unless you need to. Okay. That means looking fine. You good there, Sam? Everybody's good? Yep, yeah, I like it. You doing good there, user? Because Scott Knight just says user. You got your lovely flower, you got your vase of flowers in the background, but just says user, so I've got no name. Yes, yeah, that's good. All right then. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start to work on the form. I'm just gonna turn the music on. Okay, we're gonna work on the form now. Um, again, I've just been going up to cross hands. Uh, and so we'll just, we'll go to the same again. We'll do the form up to cross hands, join in as best you can. Uh, if at any point you have any questions, just turn your microphone on and ask. Um, then obviously we'll have a chat again at the end. Then we'll do one move. And over the coming weeks, other people will do bits of the class for you. So, you know, John and Lynn and Rob and anybody else will do bits of some of the class for you. Uh, so you get a chance to experience different people. All right. So this form is uh, uh, the first section, first 17 movements from uh, the Chen Man Ching style. So Chen Man Ching was, for people who don't know, uh, was a uh, disciple and senior student of Yang Cheng Fu. And the original Yang style is about 108, somewhere around there. Uh, and Chen Man Ching studied with him and re re regained his health from TB and we got a uh, very master of five excellences. So he taught Tai Chi, he taught calligraphy, he was a Chinese doctor, all, all these things, um, his philosopher, all the things that he did made him a very uh, well-rounded uh, person. And so he developed this 37 form uh, to, when he was teaching in Taiwan so that it was um, easier to learn, quicker to learn. But his phrase is, my form is simplified, not simple which means just because he's got less movement, it doesn't mean everything's not in there. In all the years I've been doing this, which has gone past 30 now, every time I thought I need to learn a little bit more, I'll go and learn, um, I don't know, uh, Chinese wrestling, or I'll go and learn uh, boxing, or uh, uh, Aikido and locks and things, Chin Na. Uh, I realize it's already in the Tai Chi that I do. So uh, it's a whole art. Um, not everybody wants to do the martial arts side of it, so you could think of it as a kind of self-defense for life. So if you're just doing it for your health and well-being, if you're doing it to improve your mobility and your balance and your relaxation, to be mindful and present in what you're doing, then that's fantastic. If you're doing it to beat people up, that's up to you. That's fantastic too. Okay. So here we go. Feet together. I should go on a breathe. 
Girls, relax, knees bent, head is suspended from above, so your hips should feel nice and loose. You're not slouching, body up. Uh, as old as a, as a, if you're interested in looking things up, it's not from Tai Chi, but it applies to Tai Chi. It's a wonderful word called, it's a, the word is a tensegrity. The tensegrity is about tensional integrity. It's about structural integrity of your body. So your whole body should feel alive. Just because you say relax, it doesn't mean limp. It should be uh, alive and pliable like bamboo rather than limp like spaghetti. So if you want to look that word up, tensegrity, please do. So your body should be alive, full of chi, not tense, but structurally good. Song, relaxed and alive. Preparation, release your weight into your right foot, release your hips and turn and back. Release your foot, step out, shoulder width, turn your waist to bring your foot, change waist, turn your waist to bring your foot back to the center. 50-50, beginning, hands up, and your knees, elbows, hands back like you're catching a ball. Push, reach down, stretch down. One off left, weight in the left leg, turn and hold the ball, change weight to your right leg. Releasing your foot, Step forward with your left foot, change weight, body 45 degrees, turn to face the front. One off right, continue to turn and back. Step shoulder width, change weight, right hand up, 45 degrees, turn. Roll back, continue to turn, sit back, moving away from your right hand, around. And press, separate. And push. Single whip, sit back, hands all the way around. Change weight to your right leg in, holding a ball. Make a beat your right hand and out. Step across, shoulder width, up, and turn. I need to move across slightly so you can see. Lift hands up, lift. Draw back, step forwards, and shoulder. White crane spreads wings, turn, and release. Roshni Trista. Step up, play guitar. Roshni Trista. Deflect down, parry and punch. Uh, make a fist step up, parry, hands across, and punch. Parent close up, hand on your elbow, back. And push. Cross hands all the way around, elbows out, hands out, feet shoulder width, 50 50, wrist cross, hands up. So you finished, cross hands, weight 50 50. Okay. So from here, what we're doing is we're starting to get the idea of uh, yin and yang, the full and empty. So here we're sitting 50 50, we're in uh, Wu Chi, so um, Centered, balanced, relaxed. And as soon as we become active, we release into one leg. This releases this leg, and this becomes yin. So yang, this becomes yin, so full and empty. And you release your waist, it turns here at the hips. Turns and open. Step. Turn your waist here. Restrain your foot, change weight. Turn your waist here. We we'll just release. As you release, it will bring your foot round 50-50. I'll do that again. It seems a very small move, but you're getting your feet shoulder width, you're getting your feet parallel, and you're starting to get the idea of substantial, insubstantial, full and empty. Breathing in, breathing out, relax. Step, release here. Move into this leg, release here. It turns 50-50. Beginning, hands come up, so I'll stand sideways so you can see. Beginning, hands come up. Release knees and elbows and hands. Like catching a ball, you breathe in, expand like you're pushing out. Over, down, and reach down. Okay. From here, ward off left, with your weight in your left leg, moving away from your hand. Weight in the left leg, turn to hold the ball. Moving into your right leg. So this becomes yang substantial. This is released yin turn. 
Release the foot step forwards. Change weight, body 45 degrees. Turn, releasing into your front leg. So you can see what I'm doing is I'm turning, releasing into that leg. So turn at the hip, release into that leg. So you should always feel like you're coming forwards. So when I do this, I'm not going back, back, I'm going forwards, forwards. So if you can see from the trees, I'll try and line up with a tree. There we go. It's very tempting to go back. But we don't know, we never go backwards in Tai Chi, always forwards, always forwards. And you'll know if you're doing it correctly, because if you're weighting your left leg, when you come up and when you turn, you're moving into the left leg, you feel it in the, in the thigh, and your hips are sitting down like on a high chair, so you'll feel it in your calf, but mainly in your thigh. If you're feeling any pressure in your back leg, it's because you leant backwards, not forwards. So it's very easy to do that, it's very easy to go up and turn, and like sit, but really I can still feel this back leg activated, because I didn't go forwards. So from here, wood off right, continue to turn, so you release the foot, come back, step with the right foot, come up, remember forwards, turn forwards, so I'm committed to that leg. People talk about a knee going, not going past the toe, like this, but when I sit into that foot, come underneath the foot, and then, so I'm going forwards, but not forwards, so I'm sitting. Knee doesn't go past the toe, Bone goes down towards my ankle, all upright. Again, if you're doing it correctly, you'll feel the thigh, what you should call uh, getting warm. Roll back, turn to the right, sit back, sitting into your back, bringing him away from your right hand. And then from your, in your left hip, release as you roll around and press. Sit back and separate, shoulders relaxed, and push. All the time we've got this kind of under up, push. Sit back, hands parallel to the ground, all the way around. So probably get your hip, up the handlebars here, change weight to your right leg, release, holding a ball here. This is gonna make a beak as you go out. So I'll show you this way. I'm gonna sit back and turn all the way around. I'm not twisting the knee, so you didn't go across. And that obvious place there, I'm not doing this. In, here, all the way around. Only as far as it's comfortable, looks like I need a wee. Change weight, in. And from here, as I turn, it's as if I'm going with my hand like this. So as I turn, hand goes out, makes a beak, hand in front of, about the top of your belt, below your belly button. Okay, turn, step across, shoulder width, see the knees not twisting. Up, body 45 degrees, and in front of your mouth, shoulders relaxed. Turn, rest your hand on someone's shoulder. Same thing, you're not turning backwards, you're turning forwards. Shoulders relaxed. Hand over your back foot, hand over your front foot. Here so you can see, okay, back around, change back, out, across, up, turn, body forwards. Still upright, I'm still upright, I'm not leaning, but I'm not leaning back either. So my front leg is fully engaged, back leg relaxed, so fully yang, yin. From here, shoulders relaxed, hands down, so circle up and lift. From here, it's like I'm conducting music. Here, release your shoulders, release the hands and up. Here, release all your weight into your right leg, open and up. And so your hands are about in line with your elbow. It's open like you're going high there. So you have to kind of look uh, open and relaxing, but dangerous at the same time. 
open and relax. From here, draw back and shoulder. So you imagine that you are pulling in and down, in and down, in and down, in and down. Step shoulder width, hand on your forearm and shoulder. Now, if you, I've said this joke, well, it's a kind of a joke, I guess, many times. So in Chinese, the, the term for this movement, this um, leaning forwards or shoulder, the, the Chinese term is uh, two words, fu, kao, so lean shoulder or lean forwards. But if English is your first language, it also sounds like fu kao. So you can interpret that how you want. But if you can think the energy is, I'm going to go in and shoulder. You can think in, fu kao, shoulder. In and shoulder, like you're barging or bumping. In and down, step and shoulder. In and down, step and shoulder. When you finish the shoulder, the back foot will turn to finish the movement. So you move completely into the front leg. And from here, white crane spreads its wings. So you turn to the right to release the left foot completely. So you've got fully yang, fully yin. Release open, separate. So what I'm doing is open and separate. So you half shoulder width, shoulders relax like I'm waving, brushing. In, release the foot, back, open. Shoulders relaxed. So it's about here, about here. Brushing into a step around. Okay. So brushing into a step, what I'm doing is this hand's coming down, this hand's coming across. So it's like a parry. You move it out of the way, this hand comes in and push. So here I release the hand, hand step into your ear, through, and push. Shoulders relaxed, almost like you're resting your hand on the someone's shoulder. You're not bending your wrist and striking out, nice and gentle, like you're resting on someone's shoulder. Here. You can step up with your right foot, and forwards, and play guitar. Step up with your right foot, Press down with your right hand as you push through with your left hand and foot. Step up, press down, release through. Again, hand to elbow as if you've got someone's arm between your hands here. Hand and elbow. Brush the twist step, right hand down, left across. Step, again, brush and issue step. Deflect down, parry and punch, sit back, deflect down with your right hand, turn out. Change your weight, make your fist. Step up with your right foot. Parry, forwards, and punch. So when you punch, again, elbow out, wrist. So if there's a line from your elbow to your hand, it would eventually go all the way out, all the way out. It would eventually meet with your nose, so it's going in at an angle. You're not punching directly out, punching slightly in towards your center, not out in a straight line, in to here. Parent close up, I'll turn so you can see, parent close up, turn, right hand over your, so your, right hand over your left foot, turn, left hand on your elbow, Open your wrist as if you're sliding a bangle off. And forwards and push. Sit back, all the way around, elbows out, and out. Sit back, all the way out, hands are out, and cross hand. Okay, so it's nice and relaxed, hands crossed. All right then. Uh, switch this back over here. Get rid of that 
background. So we do that again. Okay, so how's everyone doing? You all going? You all fine? You're okay? Oh, oh. I'm getting a bit warm. People forget it's quite an exercise, you know. All right then. Everyone's looking fine. Yep. Cool. So if you have any questions, um, please just uh, turn your microphone and ask. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to start to round the class up. Um, it's really good to see you all. We had about, again, 40 something people today um, and we shared it out. So you, the more you share, the more you care, I guess, uh, and the more people can take part in what we're doing. So I'm happy for that. Let people know. Even if people just do part of the Qigong and get active, if anybody wants to learn the Tai Chi, that's the plan is each week, the Tai Chi part, we get a little bit more involved, a little bit more detailed, and then we can start to moving on to the movements. The ultimate aim, in I don't know, by March maybe uh, we'll start to offer a more detailed instructional Tai Chi classes and we can separate them apart a little bit and what I would call this social Tai Chi because uh, it's a very social activity uh, and the next part is to make it more uh, more involved and more uh, you know learning the whole art but you can just take as much as you like from this so I'm happy that you're calling it social Tai Chi and you're joining in and you're joining with, me, uh, with each other today uh, and I'm happy if you want to continue to develop it in more detail so before we wrap up, does anybody have any questions or any comments? Maybe you just got to turn your microphone off. Hi, Willie. Hi there, Mark. Thanks very much for that. Um, the Shibashi set, how many reps would you do of each? About six of each. About six. Okay. Of each. I tend to do, my rule is, as many as I can get away with. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I tend to do around about 10. Um, that's why I'm quite warm, because I was working quite, sinking a bit and working. But about six of each is reasonable. There is an official quantity. It goes like something like six, six, 10, 12, six. So there's an official quantity. So if I use the official music that um, Professor Lin Hu Sheng uh, has put together for the sets, it tells you when to change. But I tend to use the music I've got because it's more like zero beats. And I can do a few more if I want to or a few less if I want to. But as a good rule of average, really, if you want to practice yourself, about six of each is a good rule, okay? Right, thanks. Okay. Anybody else? So Bogdan, you've got a housemate in there with you? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's my uh, girlfriend. Hello. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Her name is Kate. Okay, so I'm glad you guys Hi. are joining in. I know you're not that far, but it's good. It's fantastic that you're joining in. Excellent. Yeah, thank you so much for the class. It's a great uh, start to the day, actually. So, really appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, to be fair, it's a great start for me too. I, I love doing it. I do it anyway, and to be able to share it with other people, um, it's really worthwhile. So, thank you, everybody, for taking part. Uh, okay. Let's see. So, if if we're all done, and we're all okay, did you want to say something, Janet? You're waving. Are you going? Or are you waving? You, just, you have to turn your microphone on. Can you hear? No, yes, that's mute. Yes, no, you're Can fine. You? Yes, All please. right, okay. I've got it the wrong way around. Um, what for, what's the name of this form that you're doing? The, the Tai Chi form is yeah. uh, Cheng Man Ching. C H. Yeah. yeah, I'll write it down. C H N. C H E N. Cheng. Yeah. Man Ching. Oh, right, okay. Chen Man Ching was a. Yeah. A student of Yang Ching Fu, closed all disciple of Yang Ching Fu. So that's right. why if, if people have done Yang style, then right. uh, you look very familiar. No, I've been doing the Li style. Yes. Yeah. And Chi yeah. Su uh, used to obviously yeah. live, used to live in Birmingham. So Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So there's a, there's a lot of stuff. He's, uh, I'm, uh, I remember really when he kind of started, he, his name is Clifford. And, and then because obviously <laughs> <he was> Chinese. <laughs> he's right. Chi but it's all fine. I mean, fair, yeah. in, in the 70s, if you want to take take advantage of what was going on with Bruce Lee and Kung Fu movies, yeah. you are Chinese. You've got yeah. a free gift there, so you you, just, yeah. you did, and you, and you did do that, so there's a lot around. Um, yeah. yeah. And, uh, That's what most people do up here, yeah. 
yeah. and it just happens to be it tends to be in a block so if the teacher if the teacher goes somewhere then yeah. that, that star tends to fill that area yeah uh, but i trained i traveled a lot to find a good teacher back in the uh, 80s um, yeah. there's lots of people saying they do tai chi yeah there's, there's an old saying from yang Chung fu which is um all tai chi is not the real tai chi real tai chi <laughs> flavor <laughs> so uh, and i suppose my, my roots is i'm an engineer and so i like yeah. to write <laughs> yes uh, yeah. got a research yeah. and i find and i try yeah uh, i just fell in love with this system so that's good yeah. i'm glad you're joining in janet that's fabulous yes, yes. thank you right then uh, so if there isn't anybody else um i would say thank you to everybody uh, i know some of you are uh, messaging uh, but thank you, and some of you are saying hello, but thank you all very much. Uh, I will see you all again next week. Bye for now. You can look on the uh, Kaiming Tai Chi YouTube channel. Uh, so I'll put it in the message box in case you're not sure how to spell that. Kaiming Tai Chi YouTube. And if you, if you search that, you'll find um, the videos from each week, plus some other videos if you want to take part and join in. But I appreciate uh -huh. that. Yeah. Um, what was the the site you said? Look at ten, when you were talking about the whole body. Ten, ten something. Oh, was it? it's, it's, it's a word. Um, ten yeah. integrity. So it's it's. How do you spell it? Words. It's uh, tensional integrity. Uh, so if you give me a second, I'll find it for you and I'll post it in this thing. So it's, it's tense, T-E-N-S-E, -E, and then gritty, G-R-I-T-Y. Yeah, okay. And it, it's really, it's it's not a word that, that's, that's for Tai Chi, uh, but it is really, It's a, it means tensional integrity. I think it's, who was it developed it? Um, Booksminster Fuller, I think it's uh, Booksminster Fuller who, who did it. Um, and you, if you've ever seen one of those uh, geodomes. No. Uh, no. Everyone, a geodome is, is when you get a um, a greenhouse that's like a dome shape. You know, like the the, the Eden Project and things like that. So using yeah, yeah. using the structural integrity of a dome to make it really stable. But when we do our body in Tai Chi, you would call it Pung or Chi or a Sung. It just means uh, relaxed and alive, but fully in, integral, so fully connected. And because um, I'm an engineer, I like to look stuff up. So the uh, the term of tensional integrity is called tensegrity. Give it a look. Yeah, okay, thanks. And thank you. I received my calendar now from Heather. It's great. Fabulous, Norma. Yeah, David, yeah, do you want to say something before you just saying goodbye? David Green. Yeah, bye everyone. Bye, Norma. Okay, bye everybody. So uh, we're all done then. I'll yeah. see you all next week. Yes. Bye bye. Thank you very much, Mark. Thanks, bye. Sam. Bye, everyone. Bye.